This morning, one of the most important events on China's political calendar is on getting underway in Beijing. The National People's Congress opens its 10-day annual meeting. Increasingly, the gathering is to represent the Communist Party masses, and it is becoming a club for ultra-wealthy capitalists. Seth Doan is in Beijing to show us the billionaires who say they are ready to give back. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Some people call it a rubber stamp parliament, but it does have the power to approve the agenda for the ruling Communist Party. It is the biggest legislative body in the world with personal fortunes of some involved that would blow you away. Some of these similar looking gray suits have very deep pockets. There are more than 2,900 delegates to the National People's Congress, or NPC, and another 2,000 plus in an advisory body that meets alongside it. In these two councils, we counted 59 billionaires. Yes, 59. Their combined wealth is $178 billion, roughly the GDP of Kuwait. Delegates approve the Communist Party's agenda, designed by those with real power sitting on stage. We've printed out pictures of some of the billionaires, put their fortunes next to their pictures, and now we'll try to find them. Before delegates enter the Great Hall of the People, they have to pass, you could say claw, by the media. Can we just uh, talk to you briefly? We spotted Zheng Ching Ho, a beverage tycoon worth $11 billion. Do you feel that you can represent the average Chinese person? I was poor, he told us. I understand poor people's difficulties. The difference between a poor peasant and these very wealthy entrepreneurs uh, even makes the income gap in the United States look uh, rather modest by comparison. Orville Shell is with the New York-based Asia Society. China's uh, inclusion of the wealthy class uh, is an effort to keep this kind of power inside the political system. The super rich are almost celebrities here. In the middle of all of this is Lei Jun. He is worth about $9 billion, made his fortune selling smartphones. We pushed in in the contact sport that is getting an interview amid the Chinese press. Mr. Lei, Hi, I'm Seth Doan with CBS News. Uh, can you, you're a billionaire. Why did you want to get into politics? I feel it is the responsibility and obligation of every single citizen to try our best to push for change in our society, Lei told us. We wanted to see who the wealthiest member of the U.S. Congress was. We found Representative Daryl Issa worth at least $350 million. I suppose in China you could say only $350 million. Compare that to the richest person, the highest net worth of the delegate of the NPC, $14 billion, 40 times more. Incidentally, they will be discussing income inequality. Nora? All right, Seth, thanks. Yes, Robin Lee, of course, the uh, head of Baidu, which is their version of Google uh -huh. in China. Yeah, interesting to see that, that report. Mm -hmm. only, 300, only $350 million, still okay. <laughs> yeah. I think That's you can right. do all right on that. Absolutely. Thanks.